Good morning everyone. I am Dr. S. Krishna Prasad, working as Medical Officer Siddha at NHM Siddha Dispensary, Todupila, Idiki District, Kerala. First of all, I would like to give a brief introduction about myself. I finished my graduation in Bachelor of Siddha Medicine and Surgery, BSMS, from Shandigiri Siddha Medical College, Trivandrum, in 2009 followed by pursuing my diploma in Varmanium Therapy and currently pursuing my diploma in Pulse Diagnosis under Dr. S. Arjunan in Varmanium Foundation, Kanyagumari, since eight years. First of all, I would like to thank Dr. Sandeep Anand, Assistant Professor, Department of Shalakya Tandra and the entire management of Lal Bahadu Shastri Mahila Ayurvedic Medical College Bilaspur for giving me an opportunity to speak about Siddha system in this auspicious occasion of 7th Siddha Day celebration. As you all know, India, one of the cradle of the earliest civilization of mankind, had given birth to three distinct medical sciences, Siddha Vaidyam, Ayurveda and Yunani. Among this, Siddha Vaidyam has its origin in southern India, known as the cradle of Dravidian civilization, especially Tamil Nadu and the Tamil-speaking regions of South Kerala. The term Siddha came from the word Siddhi, which means something to be obtained or heavenly bliss. In short, it can be known as Ashtama Siddhis or eight divine supernatural powers. Siddhas are the ancient sages who dedicated their whole life for acquiring knowledge, meditation and research in medicines. Owing to the continuous and relentless effort of these Siddhas, Siddha system has become a comprehensive system of curative medicines. In short, we can call Siddha system as a system that bestows physical, psychological, emotional and spiritual well-being of an individual. Coming to the origin of Siddha system of medicine. Agastya Muni, known as the father of Siddha system of medicine, has imbibed the knowledge regarding medicines pharmacology and treatment methodologies of Siddha system of medicine from Lord Paramashiva and Lord Muriga. Through his literatures and with the help of his 18 disciples, Agastya popularized Siddha system of medicine in and across the world. The 18 disciples of Agastya is known as 18 Siddhas who are the pioneers of Siddha system of medicine. Whether Siddha system is having any scientific foundation? Definitely, Siddha system of medicine is having a very firm scientific foundation as per the ancient literature written by Agastya Muni, known as Marmasara Sangraha Adinu. In this literature, 96 principles or 96 tattvas is known as the fundamental scientific foundation of Siddha system of medicine. What are these 96 tattvas or 96 principles? I think you all know, being Ayurveda students, Panjabuda, Panjendriyam, Kanmendriyam, Jnanendriyam, Ashtaragam, Malam, Gunam, Deshavayu, Deshanadi, all are coming under the major entities of 96 tattvas or 96 principles. Whether Siddha system is having any diagnostic methods to diagnose a disease? Definitely. Siddha system possesses Envage Therva or 8 way of diagnostic tools to diagnose a pathological condition. Which are these eight tools? Nadi, Sparsham, Na, Niram, Mori, Biri, Malam, Mutram are known as the Envage Therva or 
diagnostic tools of Siddha system of medicine. Na means tank, Nadi means pulse, Niram means color, Mori means sound, Viri means eye, Malam means stools or feces, Mutram is urine. With the help of these eight diagnostic tools, the Siddha system is coming into a proper and clear diagnosis about a disease situation or pathological condition. Coming to the treatment aspect of Siddha system of medicine, in the ancient literatures written by the 18 Siddhas, it is said that there are 4,448 diseases and 108 Varma points and treatment aspects in Siddha system. As you all know, the entire universe is made up of Panja Buddhas or five elements. Our human body is also constituted by five elements or Panja Buddhas, along with three humors and 108 Marma points or vulnerable points. So, any injuries to this 108 Varma points or vulnerable points can lead us to a very serious health condition. On the other hand, stimulation of this 108 Varma point can also cure any serious disease condition. Talking to the five elements and Tridosha or three humors. When the three humors or Tridoshas, Vada, Pitta and Kabha are in a proper ratio, we can tell that an individual is healthy. When these three humors are vitiated or derailed, we can say that that individual is in a diseased condition or pathological condition. So how we know whether a patient is having a disease or not as per Siddha system of medicine. The major diagnostic tool in Siddha system of medicine is Nadi or pulse diagnosis. Nadi are the channels through which prana or the vital force is transmitted to each and every cell in our body. By pulsating the Nadi of an individual, we can understand the temperament or Dehi or Pragirdi of an individual the health condition of an individual, whether the individual is having any disease, the intensity of or intensity of this disease, whether the disease is curable or incurable. Apart from this, Nadi also helps us to understand the disease that particular individual was having earlier, presently what is the disease condition? What are the future health issues that individual may come across? So, Nadi is a very powerful tool in diagnosing. After pulsating the Nadi, we are coming to the treatment protocol in Siddha system of medicine. Before that, let me tell that as per the Siddha system of medicine, we can classify diseases into three categories. That is, Satya diseases or diseases that are curable. Kashta Satya or diseases that are difficult to cure but they are curable. Asatya or diseases that are incurable. So, after this, we are coming to the treatment aspect or treatment protocol of Siddha system of medicine. That is a major portion where majority of the persons are having many doubts or many misconceptions in my point of view. Coming to the treatment or medicinal aspect of Siddha system of science, as per the literatures, Siddha system is having 32 type of internal medicine and 32 type of external medicines. In total, 64 type of medicines are there in Siddha system of medicine. So, these medicines can be classified as medicines of herbal origin and medicines of non-herbal origin. So, 
under the medicines of herbal origin there comes churnam decoction powders lehim rasayanam vadagam or tablets and manapaga or syrup non herbal origin of medicine this is a major uniqueness of siddha system of medicine siddha system of medicine is having a wide range of medicines of non herbal origin which are highly potential metals non metals minerals salt and other natural elements are coming under this medicines of non herbal origin so these non herbal origin origin of medicines how they are processed how they are made into a proper medicinal form if you are taking a metal maybe it iron gold or silver the particular metal is taken and they are undergoing a very long purification process with the support of herbal juices these medicines like metals and non metals are soaked in herbal juices for 7 days 14 days 21 days or 28 days and they are kept in sunlight later these purified raw materials or metals or minerals are undergoing a very strong heating process known as nitra or sfudam sfudam in tamil or in malayalam means cleansing process all the impurities in this metals and minerals are cleansed in very high temperatures they are transformed into a new chemical form which is very easily feasible into the human body with the support of adjuvants or vehicles these higher form of medicines are known as basmam or parpam in tamil which is white in color and sinduram which is red in color so literatures are having a very clear dosage of how this basmams or sindurams is to be administered to an individual they are administered in very minimal doses maybe 10 mg 20 mg in different vehicles or adjuvants depending upon the temperament of an individual or the severity of disease of an individual the basmam or sinduram can be administered in very minimal doses in variety of adjuvants or vehicles like water honey milk etc in the initial situation or initial stage of a disease these medicines can be administered for uh one week or maximum 41 days while talking about this medicinal administration as i earlier told you the diseases known as kashta sadhya or asadhya diseases for treating this kashta sadhya or asadhya diseases we are using higher form of medicines like basmam and sinduram for sadhya diseases they can be treated with the support of herbal medicines the major point is that while a patient is given higher medicines they are supposed to clearly follow patyam or diet registration diet restriction these medicines are not having any side effect coming to the topic of patyam or diet regimen or diet restriction there are many people asking a variety of doubts what is patyam in layman's language i can easily say that each and every individual is having a size for their footwear or a size for their shirt so i can wear a footwear which is matching to my size similarly when we are created each and every individual is having a clear protocol of diet that is optional to him when we are derailing from that diet that means when i am eating food that are not supposed to be 
easily digestible to my gut or GIT system, I will be affected with diseases. So, in order to come out of that disease, I have to avoid those food items that are not optional to me. That is known as Pathyam. So, when we are taking medicines of higher origin, we should follow strict Pathyam or Kadam Pathyam. That means you should avoid non-vegetarian food, you should avoid spicy and oily foods, even sexual intercourse too. That is properly meant for medicines of higher origin. When we are taking medicines of herbal origin, the pathem is very simple or light. But for the effectiveness of our system of medicine, it is very better to advise to avoid non-vegetarian food. So many people will ask me whether there will be any problem when we unfollow Pathyam, whether, whether there is any side effect if we don't follow Pathyam. For their information, when we are not following Pathyam, the duration of our treatment will prolong. That is the only side effect we are having. There is no other serious side effect if we uh, unfollow any pathyam in case of herbal medicines. But in case of higher medicines, that means medicines of non-herbal origin like pasmam and sinduram, we should strictly follow pathyam. The next thing many people will ask me is that whether Siddha system is having specialities specialty departments definitely like allopathic system of medicine siddha system is also having special departments first of all general medicine or podu maritvam special medicine or sirap maritvam in the special medicine there comes skin diseases varma treatment psychiatric treatment etc gynecologic department or magalar maritvam, pediatrics or kudandai maritvam, pura maritvam or external treatment department, yoga maritvam or yoga department, marma department. In Ayurveda, you are calling it as marma, but in Sitta, we are calling it as varmam, V-A-R-M-A-M. Then, Nanju Maritam or Forensic Department and Toxicology. Like that we are having uh, Noi Nadal or Pathology Department, Gunapadam or Pharmacology Department. So more than 12 specialty departments are there for Siddha system of medicine. So I think you have got a very brief description about Siddha system of medicine. Once again I am thanking the entire management of Lal Bahadu Shastri Ayurvedic Medical College for giving me this beautiful opportunity. Before winding up my session, I would like to wish each and every one of you, the students and faculty of Lal Bahadu Shastri Ayurvedic College, a very happy and prosperous new year. Let all the students of your college may come out in flying colors and become wonderful physician. Thanks a lot.